in any history book, in any age where there was widespread famine, sickness, want, you find an outbreak of women being denounced as witches. In the late Middle Ages, thousands of people were executed in Europe and England. In Massachusetts, 20 witches were put to death. All of these were times of widespread disease and hunger. The definition of a witch has changed over the centuries. The concept of a witch originated with the link between nature, the feminine, and the worship of female deities. Some include Inanna in ancient Mesopotamia, who was the queen of heaven. Freya from ancient Scandinavia, who soared through the heavens on a chariot. Isis, the ancient Egyptian goddess of healing and magic. The Greek goddess Circe, who would seduce men and turn them into pigs. Asherah of Canaan, the goddess of motherhood, fertility, and the sea, and the Hebrew icon Lilith, who would prey on newborns and steal men's seed. The worship of these deities began to be overpowered by male icons of religion. Then, when religious texts were written, they were declared evil. The story of Adam and Eve blames Eve for the fall of humanity, and the tree and the snake, which were symbols of goddess culture, became evil and forbidden. Then, women began being persecuted if they were suspected of being a... Witch! Great minds have sought to explain these things, and in the great museums of the world hang the work of the master artists of another age, giving mute testimony to the horrors of sorcery and witchcraft as they saw it in their day. To tell you this hideous tale, and to better help you understand these murderous creatures, let's go back 500 years for well, that will bring us back to the time known as the Dark Ages, when the witches held much of Europe in their black grip of fear. The plague brought on hysteria and the belief that this misfortune was brought about by evil forces and the work of the devil. The biblical association between witchcraft and the devil became the reason to rid their towns of suspected witches. It was believed that the witches would sell their soul to the devil and cause the town's food to become rotten, disease to spread, and incite impure acts of lust as well as dancing naked. The Malleus Maleficarum was written in 1486, but when witch hunting reached its peak in the late 1600s, this book became a guide for detecting which women practiced witchcraft. Men were occasionally suspected, but women were viewed as vulnerable beings who were easy prey for the devil. Victims were often those who were doing the most within their community, again, drawing a connection between the female body and tendencies of nature, only now they were suspected of doing harm. Women with moles or birthmarks were hunted and tortured until they confessed to their heinous crimes and were put to death. Their hunters were warned to never look them in the eye, for they may fall victim to their spell and feel compassion. They were burned and hanged, and occasionally put to trial by being thrown into water. If they floated, they were a witch and therefore put to death. If they sank, they were innocent, but now drowned. Regardless, they were condemned. Scholars estimate that in Europe and America, approximately 60,000 to 300,000 people died. Burn, witch, burn, witch, burn, burn, burn! The Salem witch trials came to an abrupt end when the governor's wife was accused. Then, as science evolved, witch hunts were significantly less frequent. Over the next 100 years or so, the witch faded and was reduced to a Halloween costume. Am I using my skills as a sorceress? No. No, Sybil. Doesn't my witchcraft cure snake bites, chill blades, carbuncles, pink eye, hangnails, and unhappy memories? Yes. Yes, Sybil. In recent years, the practice of witchcraft has been reborn and taken into many different practices. 
The village in Wicca, directly translated to the craft of the wise, relies on the use of candles, incense, crystals, and energy to harness the forces of nature and send directed and powerful prayers. They have faith in divine powers and a respect for nature. Has that shocked you? Oh, no. Just difficult to believe. <laughs> Yet you could easily believe I was a Roman Catholic or a Jew. Witchcraft is a religion, though. One of the oldest. Perhaps the oldest. Do you worship the devil? Emphatically not. My coven practices white witchcraft only. We try to do good by it. Faith healing and that kind of thing. Sometimes. And on a simple level, we exist for friendship and to give pleasure where we can. <laughs> 